In today's video, we're gonna take a look at creating beautiful, consistent, empty state views in Swift UI starting with iOS 17. Before we jump into things, destroy that like button down below. Say hello in the comments. We're just about at 100,000 subs, so super excited. Let's open up Xcode, start by creating a new project, and dive right in. We're gonna be creative and call this project Empty States R cool all capital because they're pretty cool we're going to make sure we stick with swift and swift ui as our ui framework and save it wherever you'd like i'll toss it onto my desktop and before we jump into things i will expand my xcode window and hopefully your preview loads as fast as mine did this time around so cool, so creating empty states. Well, what are empty states? Empty states are states in which you have no other content to show, hence empty. So for example, if you have a list of elements or some state where the user needs to add something before you can show something, that's an empty state. And they're very common across applications. And usually you would need to create them yourself and that would be a little annoying since they're so prevalent across all different kinds of apps. Well, luckily, Apple heard everyone complaining, and there is now a new view that I wanted to uh, showcase an example of. I'm just going to stick a navigation stack in here for the sake of having a container. And the new view is very creatively called, uh, not container, content unavailable view. And you can see that there's actually a few different ways you can go about creating this. You can use a title and a image. You can use a title image description, but the one that I like using the most here is the one with a label, uh, a description, and a action. So you can see I can type there uh, just LDA and it'll actually pick up all three of those uh, autocomplete parameters and we can start filling them out. So let's do an example and see what this actually looks like. So for the label here, we're gonna use a, a string as well as a system image. So perhaps this is a screen in your app where you're gonna show notifications. And we're gonna call this notifications. The system image here will be a name of a bell. Now the second thing here is a text label of what the description is. So we'll say you have no uh, activity yet, activity, and let's try to spell things correctly and be sane. We add the I there. And the most useful thing about this that I like is that you can also have actions. So inside of here, we're gonna stick in a button and we're gonna create it with a title and just a closure for the action, which I won't put anything in here. I'll just stick in a comment. So well, maybe we'll say, uh, do stuff. And on the right hand side, if your preview is cooperating like mine is, you'll see what this ends up looking like. Now there are some ways you can go about customizing a bunch of this stuff. So for example, you can indeed um, on each of these views apply some modifiers to customize. So if we wanted this to be bold, uh, as an example, if we wanted to apply uh, a foreground color or a tint color, I should say to the button, we can do that. We can even specify modifiers in the label here to control what this looks like. So in my personal opinion, I like the default look. I think it's kind of nice and faded. It achieves, you know, what I'm kind of trying to go for here and it's pretty nice. So that is literally all I've had for you guys today. So it's a very, very simple thing. You can bring it into your apps. If we click into this, if I'm not mistaken, this is available as of iOS 17. That's uh, annotated here, 17 and above. So obviously if your application supports a lower deployment uh, version, you can use this alongside, you know, whatever your legacy solution is. But moving forward, you know, in a year or two, I would not be surprised if most folks are using this in their Swift UI applications. Thanks for watching. That's all I've got. Hopefully by the time you're seeing this, we're at 100k subs. Hit that like button before clicking away. Connect on all the socials. Throw an emoji down in the comments with the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you guys in the next video.